Hi, guys. Hey, yes, Sue. I bet you I can make something awesome from all this cardboard in just an hour. Huh. Okay. Go ahead. Oops. I forgot something. So, are you ready? Then set the timer on. Well, let's see what you can make. Ready, set, go! Oh, soon you will see something special. Hold on a little bit more. So much stuff to do, so busy. I need this, and that, and that. Oh, oh, oh. And this. Oh, it's been an hour already. Time to check out Sammy's work. Oh, Sam, what a mess! By the way, where are you? Sam! I'm here, Sue, but I didn't get to finish it. Oh, cheer up and let me help you. What did you want to make? Uh, Sam, what are you looking at? At the alien technology. We need to construct the prototype. We'll create an Autobot! Good job, Sam. You are a real cardboard cutting master. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree that Sam is a master. <laughs> of course. You know that I even have a medal for this. But your relationship with glue is not as good. Let me do it for you. Actually, I thought about you too and didn't want you to sit around doing nothing. <laughs> Sam, you're so caring. That's why I love you. Well, and where is the bumper here? Did you manage to cut it? What do you mean? What was I doing here all this time? I cut everything but didn't manage to assemble it. Oh, no offense, Sammy. I know that you're super fast. But I've got one very important question. Sam, what color do you want our Autobot to be? The brightest one, yellow, but the grid will be painted black. Ooh, that means we're making Bumblebee? Sure, the brightest Autobot. You know how I like bright colored things. Let's paint. Mm -hmm. And I'm adding some blue accents. Uh -huh. Look how these parts came out. Wow, awesome, Sammy. Maybe you'll paint everything from now on? <laughs> nope. Oh, you need a job too. Look! Our Autobot will look very cool with this. Ooh. Right you are. Looks great. Now it's time to glue this overlay. Guys, do you know what car model our lovely Bumblebee is? Write in the comments. These will serve as side arches for the wheels. That way, our transformer will be even prettier. Wow, that's what I call a real tuning. Well, Sam, it's time for popsicle sticks. I already cut them. No, I was saving them for so long! <laughs> Sammy, I'm pretty sure that with your obsession with sweets, you'll restore your stock in no time. Yeah, but I didn't save as much as I wanted to. Don't worry, together we'll collect everything. And pop! This piece goes here. Guys, and you together can press that pretty bell button under the video. Ding! Look how interesting it's coming out. We are ready for the next stage. We are all set to assemble the head of our transformer. Sam, you are a real master. You cut everything out so nicely. I sure am. Don't forget about the metal. <laughs> you cut it yourself, no? It doesn't deny the fact that I am the best cardboard cutter. Autobot, roll out. <laughs> Great look, Sammy. You are a real Autobot leader. I hope you remember that I am the best at coloring. Whoosh. Of course, Sam, but I think that I'm also good at it. Maybe you're not bad at it, but no better than Samuel the Great. Oh, we'll see about that. Guys, write in the comments. Who's your favorite artist? Sue, me, or Samantha? 
Now we will glue the head to the front part of our transformer. Like this. Sam, where are all these parts? And how did this get here? <laughs> Looks under the blueprints, they might be there. I guess someone needs to learn how to clean up the working space. Ugh. Oh no, I'm super tired, so you know, I cut so much, even such a master like me can get tired. Okay, okay. The main thing is that all the pieces fit. I hope you didn't make anything extra. For your information, I prepared everything that's necessary, not even a piece extra. Well, maybe almost. What do you mean? Hey, Sam. Sam? Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I added a little something. Look how cool these thingies are! We will have the best Autobot ever! Oh, Sam. I never thought you knew so much about Transformers and cars. You are such a smart slime. Oh, yes. And I want our Autobot to be the most awesome one. It will be so. So, I decided that it will be easier to saw it if I mark it properly. <laughs> Sam, I see that you did the most difficult work. <laughs> I'm happy that you noticed my work. Wait, are you making fun of me? No, no. You're a real gentleman. I just wanted to see how you would do it. I know, I know. Guys, ask an adult to help you while working with the hacksaw. So, Sam, is it clear now? Go and saw the second set. And meanwhile, I'll screw the hinges on. Sure, you know I'm the best helper in the world. I never doubted it, Sammy. There. And this goes here. It's time to show off my talents again. Sam, I bet that I can paint the bar faster than you. Even faster than our viewers will subscribe to our channel. Ha! Look who's talking. I will finish it faster than a blink of your eye. I'm almost done. But mine looks prettier. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree with me. Sam, <laughs> of course your bar looks prettier. And here's our mechanism. Oh, and now we will work with something I like even more than cardboard. Is it chocolate? <laughs> sure, I like chocolate, but I meant magnets. Uh, I, I actually wanted to say magnets, but I decided to play a joke on you. Uh, of course you did. You're the best joker ever. <laughs> I am, actually. Guys, help me prank Sue. Write in the comments some fun options. Good boy, Sam. You made so much. You really just didn't have time to assemble the transformer. Yep, maybe your timer got broken and showed the wrong time. I'm quite sure that it was only 10 minutes, not an hour. Quite sure, not absolutely sure. <laughs> Did you forget to add a magnet in each arm? Oh, now I see that you didn't. I never forget things and do everything properly. Good job, you really didn't forget. <laughs> well, sometimes I do. To clean up the mess after the craft or juice in the fridge after lunch. <laughs> and, and sometimes I throw candies around and then I forget that I did it and then everyone keeps stepping on them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. But not a problem. There's also room for improvement. So, what's with the legs for a robot? Where are they? Oh, Autobots! Here they are, running to you! By the way, look at this paint job. <laughs> oh, what a color depth. You are so talented. Maybe you can start painting the pictures? Why not? I will become a famous painter and you will beg me to paint your portrait. <laughs> you better pass me more popsicle sticks. And be careful with the clippers. These are the last ones, Sue. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the moment when I become the greatest artist. <laughs> don't worry. Huh. We'll have to take a trip to the store to get more ice cream. Oh, wow. I hope we'll do it soon. We will finish the transformer and I will treat you, Sam. Sam, where'd you go again? Looks like we found what Sam forgot to cut. Uh, phew, I made it. While you were doing some easy job, I cut and colored the roof and windows. 
Oh, you thought about every detail. Great job. You forgot again who you're dealing with. Oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Great Slime Sam. Now always call me that. Wait, are you making fun of me again? <laughs> no, no, Sam. Well, maybe a little. But in a friendly way. Really? Oh, okay. I'll forgive you today. Thank you. You're a real friend. I will forgive some of your jokes and pranks, too. <laughs> I guess I found some entertainment for the evening. Sam, I hope you aren't plotting anything ominous, my little Dr. Evil. <laughs> no! When night comes, we will see. <laughs> We are almost to the finish line. Last push and the transformer will be ready. I'm sure we'll need this now. Ooh, you are right as always, Sammy. Now we need to put the discs onto this straw like this. Now we cut the rest. Guys, be careful while using a cutter. You can get hurt easily. Yep, and do you remember which transformer we're making? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Optimus Prime? Oh, it's a bumblebee! <laughs> oh, you got me again. Sam, you want to see some magic? Sure, bring it on! Then watch. One, two, three. <gasps> Whoa, it worked! Hmm, did you see it, Sam? Can you repeat it? <laughs> Easy peasy. Wow, well done. Plus three wheels at once. Not like you can do it. Amazing. You are learning fast. So smart. But Sam! Bring the chopstick pieces, please. Okay, I'm on it. Hey, why are they so small? What are you gonna do with them? Well, what is your guess? Oh, these are the wheel axes. Correct. They will hold the wheels for our transformer. I am so smart today. Do you know what a real robot needs? Real? <laughs> Almost right. Nuts. Gosh! Now it will be a real transformer! I can't wait to see it in action! <sighs> we'll cover them with round cardboard pieces so it looks nicer. Done and done! Mission complete! Yay! This is such an awesome transformer! I like it as well, but without you, we would have never assembled it so quickly. I wish I had more time. Then I'd have made it alone. It's no big deal. Next time you'll manage to make a transformer in one hour. Sue, who is your favorite transformer? Hmm. I don't know. I need to think. Maybe you, Sambot? Hello, everyone. I'm really interested in the eco-friendly lifestyle, and today I wanted to make an electric car. Sounds cool, but I don't get the difference between electric cars and ordinary ones. Oh, I can tell you a lot about electric cars. Sue, so I cut out one thing here. I think you'll need it. You can make a window! Sure. But first, we'll remove the upper cardboard layer. There. Now this piece is more flexible, see? Guys, be careful working with sharp tools. You'd better ask an adult to help you. Now let's remove the extra parts. We'll make a hood out of it. Shall we use magic? Voila! Sammy, what do you want to know about electric cars? But why are they eco-friendly? Well, that's simple. You see, gas vehicles produce exhaust fumes. They pollute the atmosphere, while electric cars do not. That's why I like electric cars more than gas ones. Guys, give a thumbs up if you also think about ecology. Why do you need these sticks? <gasps> Will it be a super electro wooden mechanism? No, sticks are not for this. Dry wood is not a good conductor. I need sticks to make the car's body sturdier. So tell me about the license. Can't I really just get in and drive? Mmm, counter question. Can you drive a car? What's so difficult? Turn the wheel, push the pedal, and go. <laughs> okay, another question. Do you know the traffic rules? Huh, easy peasy. Give way to pedestrians and stop at the red lights. Ah, oh, Sammy. It's all easy with you. 
to get a license, you have to know all the road signs and the way you should act while driving. Also, you have to know the structure of a car. How to drive it, how to park it. Hi, Mama Cirilla. I didn't know it was so boring. <laughs> well, it only seems boring. You'll learn to drive and remember all the traffic rules easily. Then it'll be easy peasy. You only need to make the effort once. Not today, Sue. Not today. Well, today you're going to help me with the craft and then I'll teach you how to drive. Will it be like a PlayStation game? <laughs> yes, you can practice in the meantime. And I have a special task for you. Cut many cardboard circles, please. That's a job for me and no rules. <laughs> Personally, I like rules. It always feels better when you know for sure what to do. Also, I really like new subscribers on our channel, so subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, here I'll glue several pieces to secure the body. These cardboard pieces will hold the sides of our electric car. <laughs> Do you think Sam's handled the circles? Cause the car's body is ready. Time to make the wheels. Whoa, Sammy, you look like an Oreo. <laughs> I didn't get how they stuck to me. I remember I was cutting them. Then I tried a woolen scarf on, walked on a carpet. <sighs> oh, you just got static electricity. It happens. That's why small paper objects stick to you. <laughs> well, it can only does that mean I'm an electro car now? An electro slime. How do you like that nickname? Did I get a superpower? I'm like Magneto from X-Men. Sorry, Susie, I've got many magnetic things to do. I'll call Samantha Enterpriser. <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Samantha knows you way too well. <laughs> the wheels are ready. Let's upgrade them. Voila! Your car is officially souped up. <laughs> it's time for the most important thing. Motors, which will make our car move. The most important? I can't miss that. I can see your static electricity tests were successful. Yes, I am the king of electricity and magnetism. Oh, do you know who was the real master of electricity? Nikola Tesla. So now we're going to make the black wheel axle. There will be no motor for the front wheels. The back ones will do the leading. Wait, what did you say about that Tesla superhero? <laughs> no, Sammy, he's not a superhero, although I'd argue that. Tell me more. Is he cooler than Magneto? He's a very famous scientist of the past. Many modern things are based on his inventions. Tesla's discoveries are used in cosmetology, TV, and radio broadcasting. Oh, they say it was he who invented the first electric motor. Its construction is very close to the modern one, while Elon Musk introduced that design into the modern car. Personally, I think that electric motors are a real miracle. By the way, we'll put this exact kind of motor in our car. Oh, now I get why Elon Musk called his electro car Tesla. I'll go read about Tesla. Looks like he's really cooler than Magneto. Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree that science is cool. We've made the main part of the car, so now it's time for the little pieces. Here we'll make the doors that will open up. But first, let's set a simple door. Carefully insert it here. It will let the doors move easily. If you have any trouble, you can ask an adult to help. Let's put the door separator right here. By the way, our car is almost eco-friendly. Cardboard and wood aren't harmful for nature while metal and plastic parts of the engine we'll use for a long time. So let's make the cool doors for our cardboard car. These are pistons. They'll lift up the doors when needed. I found something incredible! Electro cars appeared before gas vehicles. Yes! In 1828, a Hungarian inventor built a cart with an electric engine. I thought electric cars were invented recently. Mm-mm. The first electro car appeared a long time ago, but it couldn't reach high speeds, and it didn't look that presentable. 
That's why the internal combustion engine on Petrol conquered the whole world. I wish electricity had won. The electro hero's time has come. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Did you learn anything new about Tesla? Oh, a lot. Apparently, he could teleport things and control lightning bolts. Oh, well, that's not officially proven, Sammy. It's hypothetical. Well, I believe it. I think Tesla's cooler than not just Magneto, but Professor Xavier. That's the highest superhero compliment from Sam. Yes, while watching various videos, I made these pieces for ya. It seemed you were missing something. Then I understood I wasn't imagining things. Thank you, Sammy. Let's glue them. Ah! In a real car, you'd see passengers, of course. But our main hero today is the inner mechanism. And Nikola Tesla! And me! And Magneto! And Elon Musk! Let's attach these two wooden pieces to make sure the door holds well. There. It will open and close easily. We'll use the same principle to make the back door. Guys, don't forget about safety. Ask an adult to help. They like crafting, too. Voila! We're at the finish line! Susie, I'm ready for great deeds. I even made a costume. What do you say? Huh. Want me to guess who you are? We'll try. <laughs> All right. Um, Optimus Prime? No, too, too obvious. Try again. Uh, Iron Man? <laughs> Magneto? Nope. And nope. It's not so difficult. Oh, well, I give up then, Sammy. These are Tesla car pieces. I'm Nikola Tesla. Oh, Nikola Tesla was a simple man, only a very smart one. Two. You know nothing about superheroes. <sighs> I sure don't. <laughs> Here we put a micro USB slot. Our mini Tesla car will be charged using the same slot as a smartphone. It's time to glue the bumpers. Remember to be careful when using a hot glue gun. First goes the back bumper. There. Carefully. And now the front one. Up. Great. Now let's decorate the car with bright headlamps. Oh, yeah. Check out the headlamps we got. Cool, right? I made one thing here. I've locked up the electricity here. Oh, awesome. The power bank's inside. Our car will have electricity for a really long time. Let's leave the car to charge, then we'll take it on a test drive. 